Honestly, hand on my heart, I do not get scared anymore. I don't get scared. I feel so comfortable in my van. But last night, I was sitting in my van and I was genuinely scared, like driving through the mountains to get here because it is kind of in the middle of nowhere. I was scared. I was actually scared. And there was loud barking sound last night. And I was scared. I have not been scared for a very, very, very long time. And I think it's just because I've been hanging out in familiar places for so long and I've been with quite a lot of people around me so like being in the middle of nowhere just kind of freaked me out a bit I don't know what's happening I'm just so happy that it's finally warming up I just winter van life is not fun people it is not fun so this is just oh, spring is in the air spring is in the air you know I got rocks stuck to my butt. Campfire time. I'm gonna try make one. Can't guarantee that it is gonna be a campfire. I we're gonna try build one. Okay. Okay, let's find some wood. There's quite a lot, so there shouldn't be a problem. The last people left some, so let's try. <laughs> they left this. This is dry, right? That is not dry actually, actually. Ah. Okay, right. Luckily there's loads of dried leaves, so we're kind of good, you know? That is really sexy. I'm gonna get fire starters because I suck. Put you guys in here. That, that is craftsmanship. Light her up. Okay, it's kind of going. I bought those in Denmark when we went. Okay, maybe it's not as dry as I thought it was. Yay! It works. It works. I'm gonna put some music on. Right, baddie. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud of this. It's kind of nice. I like the vibe. The vibe here is good right now. Campfire going, we've got Gloria in the background. What do I do with the fire? I don't have anything to cook. You know what? This is perfect. Like most of the spaces I've been staying in lately have been in the streets. Actually like 99% of the places I've been staying recently have been in streets or car parks or 
So this is a real gem. Like good spaces are hard to find in vans actually. I thought it would be a lot easier um, to find spaces when living in a van, but it's not. It's actually quite hard to find good ones at least, you know. It is getting really smoky. That is all going into my van. Okay, so I'm gonna make another fire before it gets too late because I think it's gonna be nice to have a bit of light around because it's so dark. Let's go get some wood. Okay, I wanted to roast something. Um, I don't have any marshmallows or anything, so I found half a, a, half a red pepper. So we're gonna go for that this evening. I lost my Swiss army knife. I don't know where it's gone, which is really sad actually. So I'm having to use this kitchen knife to make a spike skewer thing. Wonderful. That is truly brilliant. That is perfect. <laughs> oh my God. Whilst roasting this, I want to talk about van life a little bit and about how it feels to live in a van. So I always feel like I'm constantly getting like ripped away from everywhere I go to in the sense that as soon as you get used to one place and living in one place, you end up moving. And everybody knows that where you are kind of impacts the parts of you that come out the most. You choose a vibe you like and you find the vibes you like. And then when you live in a van full time, you have to kind of move on because I don't know, maybe the place doesn't like camper vans or maybe there isn't a campsite or whatever. And, but it kind of feels like once you find a place that you really like, you just get like ripped away from it and put in an entirely new situation, which is both good and bad. But um, when van life is more of your lifestyle, you want a community, you want friends, you want to kind of settle somewhere. That's what I wanted from living in a van. I wanted a house and to run away and leave my old life behind that's what I did and that's what I've done and at the moment I'm finding it hard to constantly move to new places like I love visiting new places but it's so stressful when you actually live full time out of your vehicle because it's just it makes traveling really hard because you're trying to establish like a daily routine and you can't because the gym you like isn't there the place you like running isn't there. The food and the restaurants you like going to aren't there. Your friends aren't there. Like everything is different every time. So full-time travel as a full-time van lifer without a house, without a base, without anything is, it's really challenging. It really is. It's amazing. And it's one of the prices you pay for living in a van is a lack of stability, but it gets to you. It really does after a while. And, um, so yeah, it's a strange situation to be in, I'll give you that. But the freedom is worth all of it. It really is, otherwise I, I wouldn't still be doing it if it wasn't. But yeah, it is a tough lifestyle to live all the time. And um, having somewhere you like going, say Saint-Tropez for example, is like crucial to being happy whilst living in a van because it gives you that stability that you're missing. Right now I'm just roasting a pepper in the middle of the mountains. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> it's a weird lifestyle, but it's great. It is great. Right, I think we're done. And so are my knees. Oh God. <laughs> Let's go eat this inside. <laughs> hmm? oh! 
Okay, let's give it a whirl. This is such a nutritious and interesting and fulfilling dinner. It's pretty good. Highly recommend. Stick, fire, roasted pepper. Do it. Okay, Gigi Cam, what is she up to? <laughs> Gigi! <laughs> Mountains around here are beautiful and the trees look like it should be autumn but it isn't. It's kind of strange actually. <laughs> Why do they look like that? Anyway. Look what I found. Another part to the river. place too but I think I prefer our space where I'm parked but oh yes, it's so nice oh. and you know what I was saying earlier about how everywhere you go it feels like a different environment and you get taken out of environments and put in new ones and it's stressful you know what I think that's what makes nature so great is because in the wild it stays the same there's no expectation or rules or there's nothing it just is and it's peaceful and it causes no trouble and it's lovely why did i stop coming to places like this <laughs> shame about the stones but we can live with it oh they're cold oh my god when i say I was so excited. I thought I found a tumbleweed. I've never seen a tumbleweed before in real life. And look what it is, look what it is. Convincing, right? Let's just take a closer look. It's freaking barbed wire. Oh my God, welcome to the 21st century. Oh, I really wanted that to be a tumbleweed. <laughs> Gigi just doesn't want to leave the tumbleweed. Come on. Can I help you? All right, gotta let's leave this crime scene. ready to leave I really don't want to but I've run out of water so I kind of have to which sucks because <laughs> I love it here this is one of the first times van life feels like I thought it was going to like everything's neat ish this whole area I can just go walking I can let Gigi outside the sun is shining it's the perfect temperature there's a stream down there there's a campfire pit there and I can just park here without being disturbed and it's surrounded by beauty oh. if I had water in the back I probably wouldn't leave for a while I need to get going anyway because I need to put all this stuff in a storage locker in Cannes because I moved it from Ansi to Cannes so that is why there's kind of like a little bit of stuff everywhere um, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go there now all I'm gonna do is literally drive to Cannes and empty the stuff out my van it is so boring but it must be done because I am overwhelmed with stuff in here made it I now get to empty my entire 
Gloria into a, the storage lockers. So I don't I don't know if you want to see that, but <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it. It's probably I'm probably gonna be here till like midnight. I will see you next week. Thank you for watching.